Okay, so the next thing to have a look at is the destroy command. Now, if you want to remove any object from an active scene, you're going to need to use the destroy command. And that's going to take it out of the scene. So this is a script-based thing. So you'll need to go to create and JavaScript and make a new behavior. So I'm just going to call this destroyer. As usual, you can call them whatever you want. And just to give you an example, what we'll do is edit that script and we'll put it into a start function instead of an update. So in function start, so start will just uh, execute whatever commands we put into it as soon as the scene loads. So if we say destroy, open close brackets. So into those brackets, you tell it what you want it to destroy. So if we wanted to destroy whatever game object this script is attached to straight away, we could just do that. So let's just file save, switch back to Unity and we'll apply this to the sphere. So remember you can drag and drop or you can use the component menu as well. Either one is fine. Just make sure it's attached it by looking in the inspector and it should be a component. So as soon as I hit play now, that ball disappears straight away. So what I also need to be able to do is to obviously tell it to destroy a different object. So going back to my script what I could say is instead of game object game object dot find and then put in the name of another object so I've got an object called box and I could put that in there so I'm going to file save and go back to unity so it's going to destroy that item I don't need to put the script on that item this object is just hosting the script and that script's going to go through the hierarchy find something with that name and destroy it so if I press play, it destroys the box now. But what if I wanted it to be delayed for a certain amount of time? Well, we can do that too. Another parameter I can put into there, I can put in a comma after the object. So this is the object to destroy. I can put in a comma and I can put an amount of time. So I could say three for three seconds, for example. And I can save that. And then if I go back to Unity, press play and then wait three seconds and the box disappears okay so that's just basic usage of the destroy command in unity